Hi everybody, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician, asymptomatic COVID-19. What exactly does this mean? Well, we've seen this term banded around since the very beginning of the pandemic. And essentially what asymptomatic means is that you have zero symptoms of COVID-19, not even a sneeze, but you test positive for the illness. Well, I've seen all sorts of numbers banded around as to what percentage of the population is exposed to COVID-19 and doesn't have any symptoms. I've seen numbers ranging from 10% all the way up to 75, 80%. And there's no way that we can actually know this for sure because we're obviously not testing every asymptomatic person for COVID-19. But it is a very inter interesting point of debate within the medical and scientific community. I have seen families where a family member may have mild to moderate illness, maybe at home, or a family member may be in the hospital with COVID pneumonia, and other family members who've clearly been exposed to the illness have tested positive and have no symptoms whatsoever. And to me, this can only mean one thing. Assuming it's not a false positive result, the only thing that asymptomatic COVID-19 can possibly mean is that your immune system has done a very good job of recognizing the foreign viral threat, stopping it from proliferating or causing any symptoms. And if we think about this from a medical logical standpoint, disease spectrum of any illness, and this can apply to lots of different illnesses out there, especially viral or bacterial infectious diseases, the spectrum of illness ranges from asymptomatic infection, zero symptoms, to very slight symptoms. In this case, it could be snuffles for a few hours, to more mild to moderate disease, you could be out for a few days, to full-blown pneumonia. And everybody who is exposed to COVID-19, I repeat, everybody who is exposed to COVID-19 will fall on this spectrum somewhere. And who are all these asymptomatic people? Right since the beginning of the pandemic, we've been hearing about them. Well, they tend to be people, unsurprisingly, with the strongest immune systems. For instance, children, who I've talked about in previous videos, obviously they have stronger immune systems than older adults. They tend to be much more likely to test positive for COVID-19 with minimal or no symptoms. Last year, I remember, we had a lot of sports stars test positive for COVID-19 and say that they had zero symptoms. And this is not a surprise either because these are younger, healthier people with stronger, more robust immune systems. Could there be other factors involved? Again, I am assuming it's not a false positive result. Could somebody have been exposed to a less potent viral load? That is possible. And even now, several months into a vaccination program, the same principles still apply. A not insignificant number of people so far have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 and they have tested positive for the illness with zero symptoms. But it is the same principle. The immune system is recognizing the foreign virus, doing its job, stopping the virus from proliferating or causing symptoms. Remember, never before in human history have we ever tested asymptomatic well people for any illness to this degree. This is a first and that is why it is crazy for anyone to think they know exactly what is happening or how this is going to pan out. Our medical leaders, a lot of our experts, our academics would do well to show some humility here and be humble about this because human beings do not own science. However much we might think we would like to do that and control events. Human beings are here to observe the patterns in science, to make conclusions based on the best data of the day. That is all we can do as we strive to do our best to reduce the burden, in this case of the COVID-19 pandemic. But again, the science is never settled. Anyone who says that is talking complete nonsense, especially in a rapidly evolving situation like this. I repeat, never before in human history have we ever tested asymptomatic well people to this degree. And I do believe that this is going to become a lot more of an issue over the upcoming months. Asymptomatic testing. A lot more medical authorities are going to be talking about the merits of actually going ahead and testing well people. So watch this space. I'm actually going to be talking about it more in my next video as well. On that note, I would like to invite anyone out there. Remember, science is all about open debate. 
If you have any other thoughts on what being asymptomatic for COVID-19 really means, feel free to comment down below. Thanks everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, follow me on YouTube and Facebook, MedStoic Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again very soon. Mm -hmm.